Hello everybody. Today we are going to see consignment in SAP SD, customer consignment. Let's see the definition. Goods placed in customer premises, which is not being built. Once customer consumes it, it will be built by the company. Okay. That is the definition. So there are four steps involved here. Okay. The process business processes, four steps involved here. Consignment fill up, consignment issue, consignment return, and consignment pickup. So this first two, consignment fill up and consignment issue is outbound delivery, outbound delivery. Consignment return and consignment pickup is inbound delivery. Okay. Now, CF, CI, COEN, CP are the document types. Now, let's go to the system. I'm going to create a sales order, BA01. First one is, what is the first one? Consignment fill up, CF, consignment fill up. Okay, sales organization, distribution channel, and division. LD01, LD, LD. Presenter. Okay. Consignment filler. First step. Let's enter sold to party. Okay, enter the material 7015. It's my material. Enter order quantity 10 quantities. Present. Doubling onto this line item. Go to shipping tab. Enter storage location. Net weight and cross weight and cross weight and save it. This is my 15228 is my 15228. 15228 is my consignment fill up order number. Go to now slash n VL01N. Delivery. I'm going to do delivery for this 15228 present. Okay. Pick Pick quantity 10. Post goods issue. See it? Now there is no billing for this. VA0. Go to VA01. VF01. VF01. No billing for this. Okay. No billing. Okay. Let's go to MMB and check the inventory. MMB. Inventory. Stock overview. Execute this. CF 10, consignment stock is 10. Now, second, second step is consignment issue. Okay, now, consignment issue. Let's go to consignment issue. VA 0. CI, consignment issue. Enter sold to party. Enter the material 10. Okay, double click onto this line item. Shipping, storage location, net weight and cross weight, and cross weight, and save it. Now I'm going to do delivery for 152, 152229, 152229. 152, 152, go to, go and do the delivery, slash n, vf, vl01n, vl01n, vl01, present, okay. Now, post goods issue. So, we are not going to pick it here. Okay, post goods issue. Now, go to VF01. Billing will be there for this. Okay, now customer is consuming it. So, I am going to build the customer. Save it. I'm going to, I have built the customer. Okay, now come back. Now, consignment return. Now, consignment return. So, they are going to return us back the material. Okay, go to VA0, consignment return. CONR is my order type present. Same customer. Okay, order reason. Select poor quality or something. Select anything. Okay, remove this billing block. Okay, enter material. 10 quantity. Double go to this line item. Go to shipping, storage location, net weight and cross weight, and cross weight, and save it. See, this is my order number, 6000295, Okay, now go to delivery, BL01N, BL01N. 
This is going to be post goods reserve time, inbound delivery. Okay, post goods reserve. See here, post goods reserve. Now, go to VF0. VF0. So, billing is there. Present. And save. Save. Finally, we are going to pick it from the customer. Okay. It's in the customer consignment. I'm going to pick it. Go to MMB. Let's check the inventory. It's in the customer consignment. Now, I'm going to use this. Okay. I'm going to pick it from this customer consignment and place it in my stock. 195, 19456. Okay. Go to slash o PA0. Okay. Finally, custom consignment pickup. CP. That's it. Entire order quantity 10. Double click onto this line item, go to shipping, storage location, net weight and gross weight, and gross weight, and save it. Now go to billing, go to delivery, inbound delivery, VL01N, press enter, see here, post goods result, 10. Okay. Now check the inventory. It would have been 9194566. Okay. This customer consignment would have been added to the unrestricted. Let me refresh this. See here. 19466. Okay. Now go to BF0. No billing. Okay. There is no billing on this. This is how we do the customer consignment. Thank you.